بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو ویڈیو نمبر ٹو ٹو سیون اینڈ ان دس سیریز آف لیکچرز آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس انٹروڈکٹری میکرو اکنامکس دی فسٹ لیکچر از اباؤٹ اکنامک تھنکنگ انڈرسٹینڈنگ اکنامکس اینڈ اسکیرسٹی Scarcity means that there are never enough resources to satisfy all human wants. Every society at every level must make choices about how to use its resources. Economics is the study of the trade-offs and choices that we make given the fact of scarcity. And then there is opportunity cost which is what we give up when we choose one thing or another. Goods and services. Economic goods are services a consumer must pay to obtain also called scarce goods free goods these are the goods or services that a consumer can obtain for free because they are abundant relative to the demand productive resources the inputs used in the production of goods and services to make a profit land economic capital labor and entrepreneurship also called factor of production productive resources uh, include for land capital, labor and uh, entrepreneurship. The concept of opportunity cost, that is the value of the next best alternative. Uh, individual decisions, in some cases reorganizing the opportunity cost can alter personal behavior. In societal decisions, opportunity cost comes into play with societal decisions. Universal health care would be nice, but the opportunity cost of such a decision would be a less housing, environmental protection, and our national defense. These trade-offs also arise with government policies. Labor markets and uh, trade. There is the division of labor and uh, specialization of labor regarding labor. Why the division of labor increases the production? There are economies of scale. And then there are trade and markets. Specialization only makes sense if workers and other economic agents such as business and nations can use their income to purchase the other goods and services they need. A specialization requires trade. Uh, the market allows you to learn a specialized set of skills and then use the pay you receive to buy the goods and services you need or want. This is how our modern society has evolved into a strong economy. Microeconomics and uh, macroeconomics. Uh, macroeconomics, the branch of economics that focuses on broad issues such as growth, unemployment, inflation, and uh, trade balance, while microeconomics is the branch of economics that focuses on the actions of particular agents within the economy, including households, workers, and businesses. We learn about the theory of consumer behavior and the theory of farm. Uh, what determines how households and individuals spend their budget? These are the questions to ask with microeconomics. What combination of goods and services will best fit their needs and wants given the budget they have to spend? How do people decide whether to work or if so, whether to work full time or part time? How do people decide how much to save for the future or whether they should borrow to spend beyond their current means? There are some other micro questions. What determines the products and how many of each a firm will produce? What determines what prices a firm will charge? What determines how a firm will uh, produce uh, its uh, products? What determines how many workers will it hire? How will a firm finance its business? When will a firm decide to uh, expand, downsize or even close? Um, macroeconomics, on the other hand, uh, requires Macroeconomic policy which pursues its goal through monetary policy and fiscal policy. Monetary policy is the policy that involves alternating level of interest rates and the, avail and the availability of credit in the economy and uh, the extent of borrowing. Fiscal policy includes economic policies that involve government spending and uh, so on. Economic model. It is a simplified version of the reality that allows us to observe understand and make predictions about economic behavior. Economic models and math. Economic models can be represented using words, diagrams or using mathematics. Algebra and graphs are utilized to explain economic models. 
here is an example of uh, economic models and that is the circular flow diagram in which there are uh, two sectors that is the two sector economy uh, farms and household and you can see uh, how transaction takes place there is goods and services market and there is labor market and then there is real world so there are many different markets for goods and services and markets for many different types of labor the circular flow diagram simplifies this distinction in order to make the picture easier to understand purpose of uh, functions functions are a relationship or expressions involving one or more variable in economics functions frequently describe cause and effect the variable on the left hand side is what is being explained the effect on the right hand side is what what's doing to the explaining that is the causes economic models tend to express relationship using economic variables such as budget is equal to money spent on economic books plus money spent on music and so on solving simple equations uh, you can go through this and here you see how to solve uh, these equations these are uh, creating and interpreting graphs in these graphs there is intercept that is the point on a graph where a line crosses the vertical axis or horizontal axis slope that is the change in the vertical axis divided by the change in the horizontal axis variable which is a quantity that can assume a range of values x axis that is the horizontal line on a graph commonly represented quantity uh, demanded on graphs in economics y axis is the vertical line on a graph commonly represented price on the graphs in economics uh, this is more on creating and interpreting graphs here is uh, the interpretation of slope uh, what slope means the change in the vertical axis divided by the change in the horizontal axis positive slope indicates that two variables are positively related when one variable increases so does the other and when one variable decreases the other also decreases this is the negative slope uh, and uh, the change in the vertical axis divided by the change in the horizontal axis a negative slope indicates the two variables are inversely related when one variable increases the other decreases and vice versa and this is interpretation of the slope uh, slope of zero uh, when the uh, graph is uh, horizontal straight line then its slope is zero this is another interpretation of the calculating of slope again slope and uh, interpreting slope in non-linear relationships non-linear relationships can be interpreted similar to linear relationships their slope can be negative or negative as in this uh, uh, figure number five you see the cost curve is positively sloped this is the total cost curve Uh, there are some types of uh, graphs, line, line graphs, these are uh, also line graphs, these are uh, types of other graphs like pi, sometimes called a pie chart is used to show how an overall total is divided into parts. A circle represents a group as a whole and the slice of this circular pi show the relative size of the subgroups. These are pi charts. And these are types of graphs again. These are bar graphs. Bar graphs can be subdivided in a way that reveals information similar to that we can get uh, uh, from pie chart these are uh, some other bar graphs uh, how do we know which graph to use for our data bar graphs are especially useful when comparing frequent quantities pi graphs are often better than line graphs at showing how an overall group is divided however if a pi has too many slices it can become difficult to interpret 
these are land graphs and uh, land graphs are often most effective format for illustrating a relationship between two variables that are both changing for example time series graphs can show a pattern as time changes like the unemployment rate over time land graphs are widely used in economics to present continuous data about prices wages quantities bought and sold and the size of the economy and uh, here is the quick review of uh, this uh, video lecture what if scarcity explain its economic impact these are the questions that i pose for you to answer what are productive resources what is opportunity cost and its uh, importance in decision making why do trade and markets exist what is the difference between micro and macro why are economic models useful in economic uh, for economists what are common economic models how are equations and functions used to describe relationships what are the cause and effects what proper order of operations is used while solving simple equations with variables how does a graph show the relationship between two variables how do we differentiate between a positive relationship and a negative relationship how do we interpret economic information on a graph uh, thank you very much for watching this video uh, ladies and gentlemen if you haven't yet subscribed to my youtube channel kindly do so and do not forget to click on the bell icon so that you can get uh, notification about my other videos that uh, i'll uh, upload for you kindly share uh, these videos uh, lectures with uh, your friends with your colleagues so that they can also uh, get benefit uh, from it i thank you very much and uh, see you in